First of all, God heard my cry when no one else did. I'm stuck in a bathroom stall. I am stuck. Hello? Is anybody out there? <sighs> yes, my fly was open. Hi. I'm stuck in the funky bed. Yes. And thirdly, at no point did she think about climbing over a bathroom stall's wall. I'm five foot three. That's like Mount Everest. <laughs> Let's get into this conversation, you guys. I know I owed you a part two because last we left off, um, I was having a meltdown. I was about to go into convulsions. <laughs> And the lady told me that help was on its way. Ma'am, yeah. yes, someone's coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. But let's backtrack. Let's start from the beginning. So my son had open house, and I'm making my way through the halls, walking fast because we're about to be homebound. We got two more classes to visit. But see, what had happened was my goods started speaking Spanish like como estas I'm about to head out Spongebob and at this point I'm like oh, bubble bubble toilet trouble keep it down now we're waiting outside of his classroom all right we have how many more classes to go to uh not counting this one too. two my guts is speaking Spanish and fighting back like the Avengers trying to defeat Thanos and I look at my son in his eyes and I I think I quote something from the Lion King. I say, Simba, you are a descendant from great kings. You will be a great king. But right now, mommy gotta go to the bathroom. Also, my brother is a murderer and them hyenas can't be trusted. Just saying. Girl, so I'm speed walking. You ever power walk so fast and look like you dancing to the beat of an imaginary drum? Girl, them hips was going bow, 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 bow. Them legs was gang, 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 gang. I finally make it to the bathroom, and at this point, my bowels are ready to blow like free willy. And all the stalls are either shitted out, excuse my French, combo tally who, or they ain't got no toilet tissue. So I get to the last stall and it's like angels was in it, just wait and say, oh. It was clean, sparkling. I saw the sun peeing off the handle where you flush the toilet at. The toilet tissue was overflowing. There was two rolls, you know, on top, on top, on top, stacked. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this bathroom was made for me. And at this point, I'm delirious. I need to excavate my bowels. Because I know I'm about to have a moment from Sex in the City, the movie, when Charlotte crapped on herself in Mexico. I get in the stall, <gasps> close the door, lock it. But it won't lock, I'm like, this is the most jankiest thing ever. I'm gonna have to put my back into this lock. And girl, when I locked it, at that very moment, I knew it was gonna be difficult to get out. But I said, what's more important here is that I get these pants down before something escapes me. And my God, when I got those pants down, something did escape me onto the floor and I said, oh my God. So I threw myself on the toilet, legs flew up in the air, and I held on for dear life. I felt like an astronaut at that moment. And I'm thinking to myself, while I'm holding on for dear life and my legs are in the air and I'm calling on Jesus, oh my God, what did I eat? And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta get back to my son. Make this quick and swift, Lord. And I'm sweating at this point. It's like a sauna in there. And I'm like, ooh, they really need to fix this AC problem in this school. I finish up. I wipe myself very well, honey. And I'm about to do the flush and dash. You know, flush the toilet with your foot and then dash out the door before all the particles can get onto your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Because when you flush, things just fly up out of the toilet and it'd be like, pff, 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 like, oh, don't be spitting on me toilet. But you, you know what I'm saying? Flush and dash. So I flush and I'm about to dash. And in the midst of dashing, girl, the door hit me in my lip. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm trying to jack the door open, girl, the door. 
cannot be my life right now. Now, I'm stuck in the damn bathroom. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am not <laughs> I cannot believe this. This is not. <laughs> and it's hot as hell. Oh my God. Father, forgive me what I'm about to have to do. I'm gonna have to call about it, this bitch. realize I'm in a situation and my cries for help go unheard. Hello? Is anybody out there? I call the administrative office but nobody's there because it's open house. Everybody walking around the school. I try and call my son's phone but he left it at home. And I'm thinking, my God, I'm gonna have to call 911. Wyclef Jean, Adrian Mary J. Blige. Someone please call 911. Tell them I am stuck in my son's middle school bathroom stall. And I say, oh no, I, 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 I will not get on the phone with 911 and tell them. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I had violent diarrhea, so I had to leave my son in the middle of the hallway during his open house to go take a shit. And thereafter, I am locked in here with all of my smells and I'm going to pass out. So I did what I thought any person would do. I said, I gotta get out of here. What better way to get out? Crawl underneath the stall. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. But I pity the fool who thinks she is gonna touch that bathroom stall where she let a little of herself go. And God knows how many other people let a little of themselves go. Girl. So I said, ding, 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 ding. I'm about to wrap myself up in toilet tissue mummification. I am going to put toilet tissue on my knees. Uh -huh. Because sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I commenced to crawl underneath the stall. But when I feel my face get too close to the floor and I'm breathing in dust particles and possible fecal matter. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. I like I I, I can't. I'm stuck. I am I'm stuck. I refuse to put my whole body underneath. I can't. I gag a little in my soul. My spirit says, hey, Valencia, get thine back before you yak. So I did. I phoned a friend. I phoned a couple of friends. I am stuck in a bathroom stall. I am stuck. I'm ready to call 911. Hello? Yes. No, I'm not okay. I've been stuck in the damn bathroom for almost 15 minutes. It's hot as hell in here. It smells like shit. And I'm about to have a meltdown. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay? And they're like, well, what you want me to do? And I'm like, I'm just looking for moral support. Come help me, come get me out of here. Anybody out there? Is anybody out there? I'm stuck in a bathroom stall. I cannot get out. It's hot, I'm about to pass out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello? And at this point, I, I begin to yell. Yells just get louder and louder to the point. Some girls come to the bathroom and she says, I am stuck in this bathroom stall. 
Can you tell somebody to get me out, please? How are you stuck? The door won't open. How are you stuck? Believe it or not, I'm stuck because the lock, well, I'm trying to figure out what this child thought I meant when I said I'm stuck. Well, how are you stuck? What do you mean, how am I stuck? What are they teaching you in school these days? Oh, I know, Algebra 1, which is completely useless in today's society because when I go into Walmart to buy a box of ho-hos, I'm not trying to find the square root of Y to the 10th power. I pick up them box of ho-hos, I take it to that long ass line, and once I get checked out, I insert my card in the matrix is there forth and forever useless. But I tell the child, child, I'm stuck, child, the lock won't all do. And one lady comes to the door, she's like trying to put her hip into it. Oh, I got a latch. Yes. I'm like, and I'm high. It's, I've been stuck in here for like 10 minutes. It won't work. By this time, I go into convulsions. I vomit two times. It's nasty. It's a little bit of my lunch that I didn't complete to get rid of from the back door. By the way, nobody told me that spinach had a self-destruct button on the bowels. Just saying. So girl, while I'm earling and stuff, right, the ladies are like, oh my gosh, we gotta get this parent out of here. She's having an anxiety attack. Like, I'm in full anxiety attack mode, okay? Like, I'm breathing, like, really fast. I'm vomiting. And then I see a lady pop up at the bottom of the bathroom stall. Fun fact, the lady at the bottom of the stall was the damn principal. So she jumps up and she says, I'm here. It's okay. And she tries to open the stall to no avail. Like, please, I wanted to be, like, the weak link who was just, like, couldn't open the door because my nails were too long and, you know, I'm going through food poisoning. Like, I wanted to get out of there. I wanted to believe that it was just me, but it wasn't. It was the bathroom stall's door. All I know is it was, like, back up. And while I'm throwing up in the toilet, the door gets kicked out. Bam! And I run out of there so fast, okay, with my zipper, my fly, still down, okay? Tears running down my face. Makeup is halfway sweated off. Like, you, it was like peeled off like a mask, honey. And then I'm just like, I just need to get back to my son because we have one more class to go to. Mm-hmm. Girl, and I didn't even want to look at those people's faces because I knew what I had done in that bathroom was ungodly. And I just, I was embarrassed. It was one of the most embarrassing things ever. And I just want to say for the record, I am completely traumatized. Okay, you know back in the day there was a movie called Look Who's Talking and it was trying to potty train a child and the child was afraid of the little potty toilet because he thought that it was a monster that was going to just like eat him alive, like gobble him up. That's my mind. Bathroom stalls are dangerous and they will eat you alive. Just my thoughts, people. And that's my story. That's what happened. That's how I got out. I lost all of my dignity in a bathroom stall. Do to me trying to be healthy and eating a spinach kale salad for lunch with a lemon vinaigrette. I'll never do that.